Hey y'all, it's Matt, Serenity Haven Homestead, using the 20 ounce pop bottle as a guide reference to show you how big this little pumpkin is. We got another one, the dark green one, right about there. And then got a tiny one here. And then two more up there. I'm going to try to zoom in on them. Yeah, so they can't zoom. Oh, well. Anyway, there's two up there. One with a little bloom on it, one without. I found that once the blossoms go dead like this one, which small one, once they go dead, normally the fruit will stay on. And I've got a few like that. And this is the volunteer pumpkin. And it's, when I say volunteer, it is totally volunteer. I didn't do anything to it except let it grow. I got another one. And we had another one over here somewhere. Da, da, da. Now, if you notice, that blossom, it died before, right after this died, and that one's dead. It just hadn't rotted to fall off yet. There's another one that was over in here. Maybe, kind of, sort of. It might have fallen, I don't know. But anyway, that's all volunteer pumpkin vine. This section right here is six feet off the ground. And each one of those panel sections on top is two feet. So we're looking 10, 12 feet across, maybe a little bit more. And it's going all the way from down there where those three, four dead leaves are, all the way up. But then we got, that's one of the first big ones. Yeah, and the other one is starting to ripen, which is okay. That's good for it. Move these guys a little bit, the new grass. I accidentally left them too long on there. Tomorrow morning I'm going to have to move them again. We're supposed to be expecting scattered thunderstorms. But Bob and I had to clean out the gutters on the house so that way it will actually flow without overflowing and down everything. This section of tomatoes it's just going to be if we get some we get some. I want to say those are mortgage lifters because um, they're bigger than my hand. The three that tomatoes I got inside that were laying on the ground. But some of the vines are starting to go a little yellow. I watered at the base. I don't water on top of them, especially in this heat, and it's sitting about 90, 95 especially if you water in the afternoon because it will the droplets will act like a magnifying glass in the afternoon sun but looks like we got one pumpkin up there on top that's starting to come on which that that one there is also a volunteer vine if it grows it grows if it don't it don't The watermelon's starting to spread out. I need to get that grass over here and cover up all these weeds. But if you let a pumpkin wander, it'll take up 25 or 30 square feet easy. And this section is roughly three feet wide. And it's going up on top. That section of the coop is about six feet tall and it's going all the way to this side. But <coughs> that particular watermelon didn't do it the hottest. 
As I was waiting, I accidentally pulled it up, but it didn't have a good foothold anyway. And that blueberry, we maybe gotten a handful. This fall, what I need to do is dig it up, dig both of them up, and plant them somewhere. <coughs> I need to get in and mulch this in as heavy as possible. That pile is, was three feet tall, now it's about a foot and a half. But folks, garden's coming along pretty good. The zucchini's starting to phase out, thank goodness, because <laughs> we had so much, it was unreal. We had fed so much to us, and given away a bunch to people who wanted it. And I fed a bunch to the chickens. There's two big ones down there now. Well, one big one at least that I can see. I'll take it, feed it to these. There's a big, was a big squash in this area. I'll feed it to the others. We've also got a good bitch of, bit of um, cucumbers. I got another batch I need to pickle up. We'll see how it goes. There's supposed to be a three foot walkway between here and about here. But as you can see, it got taken over by the vines. The attack of the vines. Ah! Ah, oh, little things. Strike me as funny sometimes. That's all good. The two barred rock and all the black ones that are in the coop. In the next few weeks, months, they're going to be butchered out, froze, along with the meat birds. We will get that over, done with, which that in and of itself cut down on feed cost. But it's not about the feed, it's just that my barred rock and the, and the six to eight black ones, they are all five to five and a half years old. And their laying cycle is pretty much done. So we'll catch y'all later. Like, share, subscribe. Be safe out there. Grow something, even if it's small. And like I said, I've got a lot in this garden. And there's not a lot of actual garden space in it. Because everything's vining up, vining out. Cucumbers vined up on two things. They could do well in a one foot by three foot planter on a porch somewhere. And the tomatoes don't mind growing up with them, so you can plant them both together and go from there. And those three square feet of a one foot by three foot planter, you can grow two cucumber and three tomato, or vice versa, and have a lot of produce just from that three square feet because you're growing up instead of out. Take care, be safe. In this heat, drink plenty of fluids. We don't need you getting hypothermia, or hyperthermia, sorry. Hypo's for the cold. Don't need you getting sick. I don't need to be getting sick either. Be safe.